I am uh, 82 years of age and me and my wife uh, started writing books. Uh, one in particular is about game reserves, Voltaine stories, and it is all done under the title Oma Fatel, Granny Tells. Now this story was part of uh, many adventures that I had as honorary ranger of the Kruger National Park. It has so much to offer, such a variety. But one very special offering that they have is the so-called bush camps. This is like a safari camp. You're on your own, you're in the wild, you're in the bush, you're in the felt. What a lovely experience. Such a bush camp involves normally eight guests two honorary rangers and two gun carriers. There are a number of bush camps spread out right through the Kruger National Park, but the one that I will be focusing on is the one that I visited with a friend, a colleague as a honorary ranger at the, the Sand River, Santrafir Boskamp, the Sand River Bush Camp. Your adventure to the Sand River Bush Camp normally entails four days, that's three nights sleep out, and at the camp there's no electricity, there's very few luxuries, the most awesome atmosphere, a 24-7 bush felt fire going all along, and when you walk in the felt it's whisper only and then you start seeing animals on our walk that day we were very fortunate to come across lion elephant giraffe zebra blow willow beast a badger and of course rhino the third rhino we came across grazed peacefully across a donga the next moment he just got fired up through the donga and came charging at us. This huge two ton clumsy animal all of a sudden became like a ballerina charging straight at me directing its horn at my guts and then it just swerved away tail in the air running away. Wow! All of a sudden there was just quietness. No thundering hoofs, no screaming, no shouting, just nothing. And one of the guys gave a huge sigh and what he said is just this one word. Luxon! And he soaked down and sat down on the ground. Walk about. What a privilege. What a forest. I love it.